I always thought that urban legends were fairy tales. But two years ago, I attended Leafmore High, an old and respected educational institution that was run by the Friedman brothers, Leonard and Herbert, twin brothers that had specialized in experimental botany. Life was beautiful then. And I remember so many good times with my friends Ashley, Josh, Kenny, and Shannon until Herbert Friedman decided to use the students as guinea pigs for an experiment that would save the life of his diseased brother, Leonard. All of us were infected with mutated spores that Friedman released into the air. To survive, we had to kill our teachers. After that night, I did a lot of bad stuff and ended up in prison. But I served my time without protesting. I'm out now, and I just want to forget about Leafmore and everything that happened there. <laughs> On May. We're gonna miss the drinks at Sven's. Okay, I'm coming with you. Come in, come in. Here, smell this. It'll melt your nostrils. Wow, what's in there? Everyone on campus has been making tea with this flower for a month. It's time we tried it. Hey, neighbors. Hey. Kenny, what are you doing? Great. My sister. Come over here, now. I'll see y'all at the party. Weird family. Do you think they'll let us into the Delta Theta Gamma party? It's really exclusive. If you're with me, it won't be an issue. But who are- LOOK OUT! Amy! May! How are you? Are you okay? We've been worse. You haven't seen Sven in June, have you? Quite a specimen you got there. Who are you? Richard James. I teach biology on campus, and I mentor the Delta Theta Gamma Brotherhood. What are these things? For now, all I can say is that it is, or once was, human. The organs are all still there. There are these purple marks all over it. This, this is Matt. I, I recognize his tattoo, but, but we saw him not that long ago. He was fine. It's that flower that's done this flower? That one we smelled. Given the nightmares I've had, I'm, I'm inclined to agree. Students remain as they are, quite oblivious of certain biological we, law. We took an energy drink to fight off a headache. Maybe that counters whatever it is that makes you go crazy. Hell, I don't know. I haven't felt anything. I'm going to do some tests on this flower and this student. You'll find an exit if you go through the dance hall. Good luck. Hey, your party sucks, dude. My freaking car! Hey! You'll never catch My it. car's not far from here! Come back, you retard! May! Answer me! I'm begging you! Damn! What is it, June? Stay where you are. Hide wherever you can. Just like when we were kids, okay? I'm coming. Kenny! 
What on earth is happening? We're going to get my sister. Kenny, get over here. We need you. I can't. I ran out of medicine and I need it badly. I'm starting to feel awful. I need to go to the hospital. I know. I'm sorry, honey. I've been an idiot. Corey, it's June. I'm gonna look for her at the dorm with Sven. Hey, dude. Good news. June's car is still here. As soon as we get the keys, I'll bring the twins back, I promise. And by the way, you'd better take care of my blonde girl, okay? Don't worry. We're gonna stay here a while. It seems peaceful. Be safe, okay? You know me. I love you, Corey. Just once. I'm so sorry, I couldn't find the pills. snort that junk? They can mess around all they want, but not you. I know you've found things hard since Leafmore, but so have I. It's one more reason not to give up. Uh, it, it's been eating away at me for, for far too long now. Put up a fight for Christ's sake. We're family. If I can do it, there's no reason for you to lose it. It's been two years, Kenny. Don't just give up. You've always been the stronger one, and I, I... I just can't take it anymore. Then you're going to die, little brother. Grow up and save your life, please. Quick! Get out of here! Someone will pay for what happened to June. I promise. Just focus on getting out of here alive, okay? Finally, 
It looks like we're gonna have a little party. Me! <laughs> now, you're gonna know the meaning of regret. Oh, I didn't do it on purpose. But now, I'm what gonna have some you? fun. Enough, Kenny, enough. Oh, Kenny, you've become a major jerk, man. We're no longer family, Shannon. The same blood doesn't run through our veins anymore. The pain has gone, and I have opened my eyes. Uh, damn. Welcome to Fall Creek, city of freaks. I'm all right. Well, in a manner of speaking. The others have fainted, but it doesn't seem too serious. Stay in the car. Lock yourself in. We're gonna have a look around. If the place is secure, we'll be able to stay there a while. Is that okay with you, Shannon? It's not like it's the first time. Yep, the elevator controls are dead. Stan? Stan! Amy! Shannon, come into my arms so I can tear you apart. Over here! Check on the blonde. I wasn't too gentle with her. Ugh! What did you do to her, you bastard? Somebody please blow his freaking head I off! I thought I taught you to respect women, Kenny. Never mind, Shannon. I don't think he understands. He never did. to become that thing. You've just killed your brother, Shannon. This nightmare is changing all of us. Oh, forgive me. I I'm fed up of waiting. You were a lot quieter when you were ill. Is it the lack of a female presence that's making you so jittery? Shannon! You scared me half to death! I'm not a baby anymore, Stan. I shoot just as well as you now. We can't stay here any longer. We gotta keep going. There's another boat not far from here. Sven! Get out of here, Amy! I'll keep him off!
better reason to fight? Catch him? No. Well, the freak that killed Sven is still here. This is his home. His playground. Oh! ago. It's this jerk who injected us with the black spores when he was still principal. I need to take daily medication because of this jerk. What did you do with those flowers? He was sick. Now he grieves. He grafted the flowers onto himself. That's how he managed to spread his plague. Through the flowers. Sven and May and, and June, it's time to do some weeding. Dad? Dad is dead. Won't make any more flowers. But you can still chop him up into firewood with that chainsaw of yours. Get a nice fire going. Get all warm and comfy while your daddy burns. Two years of nightmares and traumas, and then this. arrived. Meet us at the parking lot. Come on. It's time to go back. Is that the help you promised? Where are the cops? What's your problem? She's our responsibility now. My dear Stan, 
the mortophilia that you knew two years ago was only a dress rehearsal, of which this is the ultimate evolution. The Freedmen's only just failed. Their plant refused to be subjected to the demands of the human body. But this evening, nature has helped as well. Nature? Not likely. Friedman was still alive. Was? Oh. At least he will have completed his work. Your friend has brought us new hope. You pig! You watched all those people die without doing anything! My colleagues were late to arrive. I'm sorry. These sacrifices were inevitable. Where is Shannon? Oh, you will be with her soon. <sighs> I want to sleep. Here we are, at the climax of things. A new beginning. And you, Corey, even though I took everything you cared for away from you, you will come to love me like a brother. For you and I will be the same. You know what, Kenny? There's only one person I ever belonged to. And it was May. Don't worry. I'll make sure it will be dealt with. I won't allow it to live. Shannon! of it? 
I don't know. But it is time to cut all family ties once and for all. Rock and roll, baby. Rock and roll.